and he's so cute and he's so easy. Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Now I've had so many people comment on how easy I have made it to make a two colored spiral but they wanted to make something a little different instead of just a two color spiral that makes a coaster or maybe a big a baby blanket or anything that's just round so I have turned it into a plushie isn't he adorable I just love him so much he is so cute and my plushie turtle and I made him in a different color here he's so cute don't you just love him and Evie has been asking me to make plushies. It's like, well, I haven't made any toys in a long time because my she's getting bigger now. She doesn't need as many toys. But apparently she's back in toy mode. So I'm going to be making a whole bunch more plushies going forward. But today we're going to start with the very easy, no sewing needed, extra fun, no sew, turtle. And he's so cute and he's so easy. And if you do everything in the right order, there is no sewing. Unless you prefer to sew, you certainly can, but I don't. So let's get started on this guy. Here's my little brown one. He's like a mocha. He's so cute. And this is five bulky. It's a five weight yarn. And I'm going to be using Yarn Bee Tender Touch in olive and in snow today. I'm going to make you a green and white turtle. This is from... This one is... Eco Cozy Watercolors, which is right here, also with the white or the snow for the tender touch. But I wanted to make them green because I had one skein of this that I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with one. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a flipper, this little guy right here. And since I'm using five weight bulky, I'm going to use my five millimeter hook. If you're using a four weight yarn, that's really soft. Find anything that you want that's soft. Go down to a four if you're using a four weight. Go up to at least a six if you go up to a super bulky six weight. But I'm going to use a five today because I have five weight yarn. We're going to make a magic circle. And if you're not familiar, I have a very quick, easy tutorial on how to make a magic circle. And I bet Derek can put it like right here. I think it goes right here. So into our magic circle, we want to put six single crochets. Mark that first one. These are really fast and easy. One, two, and there's number three, four, five, and six. And then our magic part of our magic circle, we just want to pull and close that up. All right, now we want to do an increase all the way around, which is two single crochets into each stitch to increase up to 12. And we want to mark that first stitch again. So let's increase up to 12. And 11, 12. 11 and 12. And you see I'm working on a spiral. We are not starting new rounds. I'm working in a spiral. Alright, so there is our second round. There's only a few in this whole flipper anyway. So this just goes super fast. And we want to increase one more time. Up to 18. So that first stitch is a single crochet. And then our increase. So there's two single crochets in the next stitch. One, and then two in this stitch. It's all the way around. And here's my last two stitches. There we go. We just increased to 18. Now we want to increase up to 24. So there will be two single crochets in between our increases. 
just like with any other circle. So there's one and two and then an increase which is two single crochets in the same stitch. Do that all the way around. One and two and two in the next stitch all the way around. And there's my last increase, two stitches in the last stitch. So we just increased up to 24. One more increase up to 30. So you probably guessed it already. Very easy. Three single crochets in between our increases. So one, two, three, and an increase. All the way around. three, increase. And there's my last increase, two single crochets in my last stitch. Now I go up to 30, one more increase round, four single crochets in between each of our increases. Increase all the way around. And there's my last increase. And one more time around. So this time we're going to do five stitches. Five single crochets in between each of our increases. And our flipper is almost done. One, two, three, four, five. And then our increase of two singles in the same stitch and do that all the way around. Four and five and my last increase. There's two in that stitch. So there we go. There's our flipper. But we need to fold them in half and get this crescent shape. I already have three made because we need four. So I'll make another one looks just like this with the green outline. Just like this guy has an outline here. I'm going to mark this last stitch and the first stitch so it's easy to get to. And I'm going to fasten this off. Get my scissors and snip. And leave that one just long enough where you'll be able to tie a knot. There you go. Then we're all finished off. Pull this nice and tight. There's our circle. We're going to fold them in half. We're going to take our green or whatever accent color you're using, your second color of your spiral. Right, make sure you pull your little your tail inside that you just fastened off. We're going to go into this first stitch that's marked with the orange and fasten on our green or whatever accent color you have chosen. And then we want to go back through that stitch and the one other one that we just marked back here. So I marked both of them because it's easier to see on camera that way and it's also easier to find that stitch. And we just want to pull through and single crochet through both of them. And do that again. Single crochet through both stitches all the way through. There we go. Now, so we have a couple of those. I could take out my markers. I don't need those anymore. But we do need to tighten this up just a little bit. So our tails here need to be tightened. Pull those in. Pull that one in. And then we want to tie these two tails together in a knot so nothing ever comes undone. Just easy peasy that way. And they're not going to show. And then just snip them short. We don't need anything else from them anymore. They're going to be tucked inside. Now you do the same with the starting end. As long as you have this closed up nicely, we're just going to snip him short too because we don't need him to be long. Don't need him for anything else. Now we're going to go back to our working yarn and close this guy up. So just one single crochet through both stitches to get our little crescent shaped flipper. And you do that all the way down. So you go through the front and the back. 
almost to the end. Got one stitch left. Catch this little guy right here and single crochet and then we're going to fasten off with just a little tail and pull that nice and tight and there we go and you make four one two three four there's our four flippers now you just want to pull in this end so just go in through your green pull them along the green you can just use a hook or you can use a needle if you prefer just pull him in And there you go. And then just cut this off since we already fastened him off. We can just snip. And there we go. Flipper number four. So now we're going to set those aside and we're going to make his tail. Going back to my five millimeter hook again with the same green yarn that we just used our outline with. We're going to make another magic circle and six single crochets into our magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Do our magic with our magic circle and pull it closed. And we want to do one round of increase. So we are going to do two single crochets in each stitch to increase up to 12. I'm going to move my stitch marker. increase 11 and stitch number 12. Pull our middle guy nice and tight so our circle is closed and now we want to do three rounds of single crochet with no increases. Just three rounds of 12. And I'll meet you when I'm done with my three rounds of 12. And there's 11 and stitch number 12 of my round three. There we go. And that's pretty much tail. Pull on our center. Make sure that our circle is closed. And we can snip that a little shorter. And now we're just going to stitch this closed like we did our flipper. So to make it easy, we're going to mark our very last stitch so we can get into it very easily. I'm going to slip stitch and chain one and I'm going back in to that same stitch and back to this other one that I marked in blue and we're going to single crochet our tail closed. And we can take these out. Take out your markers because you don't need them to be in your way anymore. And we want to single crochet this closed. We had 12 stitches in the round, but now we're folding it flat. So we want six single crochets through both sides to close this little tail. Three, four, five, and there's my last one. and six. Now we'll just fasten that one off. Lots of cutting but no sewing. And there we go. Tail's done. Right, so there's our four flippers and one tail. Set those aside and now we need to make the bottom part right here. This is when we need to get out our four millimeter hook because this needs to be small and this is going to be, this was being made with a five millimeter hook and we want this to be nice and small and tight stitches so I'm using a four. And we're going to make a magic circle with our four millimeter hook with our same white and I'll only show you a couple of these rounds because it's pretty simple but the first couple rounds are a little bit different stitch count so that's the important part. 
we want to put eight single crochets into our magic circle instead of six. This time it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And do our magic. Close our circle. And we want to do eight increases all the way around to take us up to 16 stitches. So two single crochets in every stitch. I'm going to mark my first stitch. And there's my last increase. So now we're at 16 stitches. I'm going to do one more increase round to take us up to 24. We're going to do this sequence eight times. One single crochet and an increase of two in the same stitch. Do that eight times. And there's my last increase right here. So now we're at 24. Pull this nice and tight and normally you would jump to the point where you're doing two single crochets in between each increase, but we want the st stitch count to be 30. So we are going to do the following. We are going to single crochet three in between each one of our increases. One, two, three, and do an increase and do that six times. One, two, three, all the way around. And here's my last increase. Two in the same stitch. So we've increased from 24 up to 30 and that keeps our His Tommy flat. It doesn't get that little poof right here. It'll be totally flat. Now it's super simple. You just keep increasing like normal until you have 60 stitches. This was round four, so you want to go up through round nine. That one was three stitches, so there's four stitches in between each one of your increases, then five, six, seven, and up through eight. And then I will meet you. One, two, three, four, and there's my increase. And I will meet you when I have all of my stitches done and my circle is up to 60 stitches. And there's my very last stitch. I'm up to 60 stitches now. And I see how small he is? That's perfect. We want him to be tiny. We want it to be tiny. Now we get to take our pieces back and we are going to attach all of this without having to sew anything later. So this is the best part. I love this part. And I start at the tail because it just seems simple. We want his tummy right side up. Here's the wrong side. You want the right side up and you want the right side up, whatever you consider the right side up here. I call it because I see my pretty stitches. Right side up. We're going to go through one, two, third stitch in from the left and our first marked stitch right here and single crochet through them both. And now I'm going to miss, I'm going to move my stitch marker and do that again with these last two green stitches all the way through to white, single crochet. And there's my last stitch and through the white and single crochet. Done. Now you can flip that green in. Now we want to do three more just normal single crochets in our white. One, two, and three. Now it's time for a flipper. So on the first two we're going to place them this way. So we want to start in this first stitch right here. Go through our first stitch because this is right side up where you can see your beautiful single crochet stitches and through Mr. Turtle's tummy. And we do that three times. There's one and on our next green stitch and our next white stitch, one single crochet and our third 
green stitch and our third white stitch done. Now we want to do 12 single crochets before we do the next flipper. and 12 and then do the exact same thing again with flipper number two go through the first green and the next white single crochet second green and second white and the third green and the next white and now we'll continue on 12 more single crochets of just white. Eleven and twelve. Now it's time for the next two of our flippers, but this time since they're on opposite sides, we want them facing a different direction like this and over here. So what we're going to do is right side up again, but we're going to flip it this way and start from the third stitch over. One, two, three, go through this stitch and through the white and through the second green stitch, second to the last and through our very last green stitch and through the white. Now he's attached and in between we want to do 12 normal white single crochets. One, two, three, and 12 and do the same thing with this guy. Turn him this way and you start from the third stitch in on your green and go through the white the next white, single crochet through both and through the second to the last green and through your last green and white. And now he's attached, single crochet three whites, one, two, three, and our last three stitches are going to go through the other side of our tail. So the first three stitches or the remaining three stitches will be used now. One, two, and three. And there you go. Now we just want to finish this little guy off because that part is done. There's the right side up for his tummy, which will show like this, but these are the wrong side up. So when he goes like this, he has really pretty flippers. And then we'll put the shell on top. Having his tummy and all the flippers and his tail done is really important because when we're finished with this, we want to just keep on going and attach everything together. All right, so now we're going to do the head. Magic circle. We're going to put our four away. We're done with our four for now. Get back our five millimeter hook and do our magic circle. And six single crochets in our magic circle like we did before. And there's number six, the magic pull on our magic circle, close that up, and an increase round. We're going to increase up to 12. And there's my increase up to 12. Do another increase round up to 18 which is a single and two singles in the next stitch. One single crochet in between 
each of your increases all the way around. And another increase round. Two single crochets in between each. Increase. One and two. And then increase all the way around. And so there we're up to 24 stitches. We want to increase this out to 42. So we're at 24 stitches right now. So we're going to increase up to 30 with three single crochets in between each increase. And the next round will be four. And the next round will be five. So I'll meet you when I'm there. And there's my last increase. I am up to 42 stitches all the way around and that was round seven. In between round five and six I put this little marker here because this is the round where I like to put his eyes right in here. So I just put myself a little mark here so I don't have to count back. Way easier than having to just keep counting and counting. Now I want to do four rounds of regular old single crochet. No increasing. Four rounds. And I'll meet you when I'm all done with my four rounds. And here I am at the end of my fourth round of single crochet. 42 single crochets all the way around with no more increases. Now our next one we're going to do a decrease. So we want to single crochet and move our stitch marker. I'm going to do a total of five. There's one, two, three, four and five and I'm going to do an invisible decrease which is just the front loop only yarn over pull through and the front loop only of the next one yarn over and pull through all three and do that again so it was five stitches in between each decrease And we'll do that decrease again. Just under the front loop, yarn over, pull through, and the next front loop. Three loops on my hook, yarn over. Do that all the way around. And five, and here's my last decrease on this round. So we've taken our 42 down to 36. Now this changes up just a little bit. I'm going to add another round of just single crochets. No increasing or decreasing or anything. Just 36 single crochets all the way around is round 13 of the head. And there's my last single crochet of that round. Now we've finished our round of single crochets, we are going to do another round of decreases. So we're going to single crochet four Oops. in between our decreases. One, two, three, and four. And then a decrease just like we did before underneath the next two front loop only. Three loops on our hook. And that's our sequence all the way around. And there's my last decrease. There we go, that was round 14. Now we want to do round 15 is just a round of single crochet. So you can see how that's going in between each of our decrease rounds. We're just doing a round of single crochet to lengthen his head and neck area a little bit. Just single crochet all the way around. And my last stitch, single crochets all the way around. We want to do another decrease round. Single crochet three in between our decreases. One, two, and three. And do the same decrease front loop only the next two and do that all the way around. And here's my last decrease in that round. There we 
we go. We have decreased down to 24 and that was round 16. Round 17 is another round of single crochet only. No decreasing, just a round of 24 single crochets. And there's my last stitch in that round. Do we get keep getting further and further away from where we need to put his eyes? We have one more decrease round to take us down to 18. So we want a single crochet two in between each invisible decrease. So one and whoopsie. One, two and decrease all the way around. And as my last decrease, decrease down to 18. And you guessed it, one more round of single crochet. So 18 single crochets all the way around. And that will be round 19. And my last stitch, number 18. There we go. Now we're done with this head. So it's time to attach the eyes. But first we want to dec decide where we want our eyes. We're going to close this shut just like we did with the flippers and with the tail right here all the way across. So we're going to be starting with this stitch and ending there we go. There's our last stitch. So our first stitch and our last stitch are marked. So those are going to be the furthest to the right. So then we want to turn our little head and decide where we want his eyes to be in that round. Because it's going to be flat this way and that's going to be attached to the body. So you don't want to put his eyes down here because then it'll be like this. It'll be crooked. So you just want to keep it flat. Decide where you want your eyes first. So I'm going to use these two great big eyes. And that blue I already marked the round where I wanted my stitches to be, or my eyeballs to be. So I got my safety eyes out now. And maybe just about here. And see if it looks nice. See if they look like they're too close too far apart, too close together, or if they're just right. I think he looks just right. So I'm going to take this marker out. Don't need that anymore. Just need to put the backs on. And there's still enough wiggle room in here for me to get to them. And there we go. Eyeballs. And we're going to stuff his head now. There's still enough wiggle room space for us to do adding the eyeballs and stuffing before we seal this off so we don't have to do any of that along the way. We can do it all right now. And stuff his head until you're happy with it. I like the way he's stuffed right now. So now we're going to close this up. We're going to do exactly the same thing that we did before with our tail. I'm going to slip stitch in here real quick and chain one in our first stitch. Then we're going to go back through that same first stitch and to the other one that's marked and do a single crochet. Now I can take these markers out. Now if you're doing the math with me, if we do this in half, it's nine. I want it to be eight because there's 18 stitches. So if we go through two stitches, would be two stitches nine times, but I want it to be eight. So at some point in here, instead of just going through the two like this, I want to do two together. It doesn't matter where you do it. I just want it to be eight stitches. So right here I'm going to do this two together. I'm going to pull through, go through the next one, pull through, and go through all three stitches, or all three loops, and then continue. 
So I have eight single crochets at the base of his head. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's exactly what we want. So now we're going to finish off his head. Snip. And we'll set it aside. Now it's time for our spiral. So it's going to start right in here and we're going to work our way out and down. So we want to have two stitch markers handy right here. I've got my two markers, got my five millimeter hook. So first we're going to start with a magic circle with whatever color. doesn't matter which one it is. With our five millimeter hook for my five bulky yarn. And in my magic circle with this color I'm going to do two single crochets. Oops. But I'm going to mark that first stitch. That's amazingly important. There's two singles, two half doubles, and two double crochet. All right, now I'm not going to be using white for just a hot second, so we're going to make a big loop so we don't lose our work and move around to our green in our magic, same magic circle. We want to fasten on our green or whatever your other color is. Single crochet. There was number one, but I'm going to mark that first stitch. Very important. Single crochet one, single crochet two, two half double crochets, and two double crochets in the same magic circle. And now we pull up a big loop from him too, so we don't lose any of our work. It looks kind of messy, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull our magic loop, our magic circle, and close this guy up. So now what we have is 12 stitches total, 6 white and 6 green. That was round one already. There's only a few rounds in this anyway, so that's fun. All right, so the next round with each color, you're going to do this. We are going to start to see in this first mark stitch, this can get a little bit tricky that that stitch might disappear. That's why I mark it because with we're doing this, it's tightening up our magic circle and all that. If that stitch disappears, your counts are way off. So now in the, this first stitch that's marked here with the green, I'm going to continue with the white and I'm going to do increase of two double crochets in the same stitch there and I want to mark my first stitch which would be the second one back. I want to do that in each green stitch. So six times. And our last stitch is where this loop is waiting its turn to be worked. We pulled out that long loop and here's our last stitch to work into with two double crochet. So that was half of round two with white, but now we're going to do the exact same thing we just did with the green. So we're going to go into the first stitch that I have marked here in orange. See, it's almost disappearing in there. We don't want it to go anywhere. So we're going to do an increase. Two double crochets in that stitch. And go back and mark that very first stitch, which would be the second one back. Then you want to do that for all of these stitches. 
one, two, three, four, five more stitches up to, but not including the blue one. So then you know you have the right stitch count. We want to do six increases in green. And there's my last one. So there you go, there's round two. So we just increased up to 24. Now we're going to increase to 36. So our first stitch is going to be two double crochets in that very first stitch and mark our first one. So that's the second one back. And one double crochet in between each increase. So there was one and now I want two double crochets in this stitch and one here up to but not including our next mark our next marker and I have my last stitch in green so half of that round is done pull up a big loop so we don't lose any of our work and do the same thing again with our white going to do two double crochet in the first stitch and move my stitch marker to the first stitch so that's two back and then one double crochet in between each increase all the way to the blue marker and there's my last double crochet for that round of white and that was round three. See, it's starting to look like a spiral and how simple that is. It just really takes the normal kind of increasing. So we're going to do the next round. Round four is the same idea. Two double crochet in the first, which is an increase. Mark your first one, which would be two back. And now this time we want two double crochets in between each increase and that will take you to that other stitch marker. And there's my last stitch with white for this round. So that was round four. And I want to do the same thing with green again. Let's see. Same with the other color. Two in the first stitch. And move your marker and two double crochets in between each increase which will take you to the next to our blue stitch marker and there's the last one in my green for round four round five is one more increase so we're gonna do two double crochets in the first stitch take out our marker and move it to what was our first stitch and this time we want to do three double crochets in between each increase for both colors and there's my last stitch and white. I did the green first and then I just finished up with the white so we're all evened up and we are at 60 stitches. There are 30 whites and 30 greens for a total of 60 stitches. Now we want to make our shell, this is the circle shell that we have right now but we want to make them taller right here. So we're going to do four rounds of 60. No increasing, no decreasing, just four rounds of 60, 30 in each color. So we want to double crochet in the first one and move our stitch marker and just double crochet in each one of these over to here. There's 
number 29. And there's our last stitch, which is where our working, that big working loop we pulled up for the white is. There's number 30 of green. Pull up his loop. There's half of one of our rounds. So we want to do the same thing. 30 double crochets with the white. We'll take you to the other stitch marker. And that will be the completion of round one. Just technically it's round six, but our first of four rounds of 60. And there's my last one for round one. Up to, but not including, there. So that was round six. We want to do that three more times. So round six, seven, eight, and nine are exactly like what we just did. 30 stitches of each color. And I'll meet you when I'm done with my four rounds. And there's my last stitch of my fourth round to make my shell taller. And you see, it totally worked. It worked really fast. Only four rows, four rounds makes it that much taller. Now we want to finish this off a little bit so that we make this have a nice gradual join with this green and the green over here a gradual join with the white right now it's a double crochet that just stops in the middle of nowhere. So what we're going to do is we just reduce these down a little bit until they are level with the next color. So the trick to this is you want to use as many stitches as your last round of increases was. So our last round of increases had three double crochets in between an increase. So that three is our key number there. There's an increase and one, two, three double crochets and an increase. Three is our magic number. We want to do the first stitch is a half double crochet. Next stitch, half double crochet. And the third stitch, half double crochet. So whatever that magic number was for your last increase round, that's how many half doubles you want to do. Same with singles, one single two single, three single, and the same with slip stitch. One, two, and three. Now you absolutely do not want to lose that stitch. You will be stitching into it again. Don't make those slip stitches too tight. But you see now it just gradually goes and joins it without a big blunt end like we have on this side. So with the green we want to do the exact same thing. Three was our magic number. So that's how we finish off that shell without a blunt edge. So they work together very nicely now. So you finish off the color that you don't want to use for this last seam here. I'm going to fasten off the white and I'm going to go back to my green, single crochet, one stitch in each stitch making sure that I have 60. That's important. Make sure you have 60. Just normal single crochets. Three, four, and now including when we get over to the white where we decrease these and made it a little bit more gradual. We want to work into those two with our single crochets. And remembering to get all the stitches you made, including all three of the slip stitches. Hopefully you didn't make them too tight. One, two, and three. And then continue single crochets on all the green ones. And there are my last those three green slip stitches that I did. And there we go. Now it's always in your best interest to just count those stitches really quick and make sure that you have 60. You were counting all as you went. Perfect. But we need 60. 
All right, so now I have all 60 of them. I double check my work. I take out those markers. I don't need those in there anymore. Double check all my work. And I have 60 stitches. So now we're going to attach our head. No sewing, remember? So we're going to single crochet 26. One, get to 26. And there's 25 and 26. Now we're going to attach our head. So take your head with his eyes down. So when you right side up, his eyes will be on the top of his head. And we are going to single crochet just like we did with the flippers through through the head and through the shell. One. Two, three, and eight. And now I want to do the other 26. This 26 plus 8 plus 26 equals 30. So the 26 we did here, the head is centered on these eight and 26 more to the end one. 25 and 26. So I still have a stitch count of 60. But now my head is attached. We're going to take the shell and the head upside down. We're going to take the body, his tummy, and his flippers and his tail. Make sure that this part is right side up. There's the right side, there's the wrong side. You want the right side up. And we are going to attach all of this together with our 60 stitches. So what we want to do is that our first stitch here in our green, go through and then find the first stitch on the white and single crochet. And we want to do that again. If you need to, because this one, this was done with a smaller hook, if you need to use, go back and use a smaller hook to get through all these stitches, go through the top shell and through the bottom shell and single crochet. One in every stitch for 60. But don't do all 60 because we still need to stuff him. And we can't do that if he's all 60. These stitches are done. So we're going to stop a little bit before the end when you feel comfortable with being able to get him stuffed properly. You see, we're just going right past his flipper, which is already attached. And go on to the next stitch. And then when you get close to the end, but not completely close, wherever you feel comfortable with still being able to stuff him, we've got to stuff that shell. Stuff, stuff, stuff. I've got him stuffed up. Now I just finish these last few stitches to get him completely closed. And there's my last stitch to get him closed up. Now he's totally closed up. And I'm just going to slip stitch and fasten off into that first mark stitch. Now the only other thing to do is to weave in a few ends. You can just pull these through if you want or you can use a needle in case you want to attach his head up like this so his head stays up. You'll have a little bit left to do that with right here. I know Evie's going to put him on a shelf so he's going to have his head hanging down like this and I think he's really cute that way. So I'm not attaching his head. I will weave that in also. 
She's going to steal this one from me as soon as I'm done on the camera here. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.